guys, it's your girl Raina Jenks and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to talk about my hair. I haven't done a hair update in quite a long time, so I figured it was time to update you guys on how my hair has been doing, the, the current state of my hair, and the health of my hair. So basically, it's been two years since my big chop and um, let's just say I'm not quite where I want to be yet. Um, I thought my hair would be longer, but it is pretty long. So it is like it's right above my boob. So it's about to hit boob length soon. <laughs> um, probably within the next few months, I'll actually like hit it right. It'll be hitting right at my boobs. I said boobs too many times. Um, <laughs> anyways, so yes, it's shoulder length right now and I um, have it flat ironed and I didn't um, flat iron it bone straight because I'm not even really trying to flat iron my hair in the first place. I pretty much flat ironed my hair just to see how long it was and if I needed another trim. Now, the last time I got a trim was back in April, I think. And I actually talked about my trim because I got it done at Supercuts, which I have a video on. And I'll link that in the cards up there um, so that you can see um, my trim experience at Supercuts. But um, yeah, I think I might go back for another trim probably before the new year. Um, I don't have uh, many split ends or anything. I do have some single strand knots, which are like the most annoying thing that a natural can go through. Like I hate single strand knots because they have to be cut off. Whenever there's a single strand knot, it's pretty much going to break off. So to prevent breakage from happening, I do have to get rid of these single strand knots and prevent any breakage and more split ends than I actually need to be having. <laughs> so um, yeah, I plan on getting another trim before the new year. So that would make um, two trims in one year, which is pretty normal. Um, I'm really trying to like stay diligent about keeping my hair as healthy as possible because after my big chop, um, I didn't even get a trim for a whole year. So that probably hindered my um, length retention a lot. I probably could have been like at shoulder blade or I mean at um. I can't talk. <laughs> I could have been below shoulder blade by now if I got a proper trim as soon as I big chopped. Um, and um, it's not even all about trimming your hair. It's also after you trim and of course keeping up with the health of your hair, especially when it comes to um, keeping it moisturized and things like that. Which brings me to my laziness factor. My laziness factor is was through the roof probably through the whole summer and going into fall like I barely touched my hair much. Um, I kept it either in a poof or in a bun a lot of the time which is good because I was protecting my ends but also bad because I would be lazy and not take it out to moisturize and seal the hair which is like crucial when it comes to length retention. So slacking on moisturizing my hair um, definitely definitely held me back as the, as far as length retention goes. Also when you moisturize your hair it prevents strangle strand, single strand knots from happening and that's probably why I have quite a few single strand knots on my ends because I haven't been moisturizing enough and keeping them in, keeping your hair in a puff or in a bun all of the time, it will actually uh, cause your hair to wrap around itself and create single strand knots and breakage and things like that. When you take it down, when you try to come through it, you will also get breakage then. So I, I just haven't been doing a good job when it comes to moisturizing and sealing my hair. I try to do it at least every other day because it's not totally necessary for me to do it every day. My hair does do a good job in holding in moisture, but when I don't take it down at least every other day to moisturize it, it 
gets really dry and I end up with a rat's nest. So <laughs> there's good things though. Um, my heat damage has been growing out because I've definitely been laying off the heat. Um, well, I won't say I won't. I haven't been laying off the heat, but I do like to blow dry my hair. I like to blow dry my hair because it stretches out the hair, obviously, and it is actually easier to manage. Um, and I like to do my bantu knots, um, you know, like the spiral curls on blow dried hair because it just comes out much nicer. I haven't been flat ironing after blow drying, so I've only been blow drying, and of course, I've been blow drying on low heat, so it hasn't created any additional heat damage on top of what I already had. So, it, um, I don't know, I feel like when I do blow dry my hair, it's not such a bad thing because I've been blow drying on low, I've been using heat protectant, and I've noticed my, um, you know, my roots coming back, so my heat damaged hair is growing out slowly but surely and it's going to be around for a while because I don't plan on chopping off the damaged ends so I'm just going to hold on to them even though they're quite annoying and I'm not able to do like proper wash and go goals <laughs> um, I'm not able to do proper wash and goes um, like I used to like I want them to look because of the heat damage ends not curling like they should be but it's not a big deal because I don't do many wash and goes to begin with so um, it's not one of my favorite hairstyles to do I like other styles like twist outs and bantu knots and things like that so I'm not too worried about that um, so I did buy a few more products to help me retain moisture like I bought a new leave-in yesterday um, or not yesterday the other day and I used it yesterday and um, it actually really, really helped keep my hair soft through the blow drying and flat ironing process. But anyways, um, things I plan on doing to, you know, continue with my hair journey. I, I am not concerned too much with the length of my hair, even though I do want it to be longer. I mean, who doesn't want long hair? And I do feel like I look better with long hair than short hair, to be honest. Like, it's just a preference. I feel like my face fits. And a lot of people uh, say the same thing. Like, when I wear my wig and it's long, like, it just complements my face better. I don't know if it's because, I don't know, I have, like, a long face or something. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yes, I do want to grow my hair um, out longer. It's getting long, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, my hair isn't extremely thick, so when I do flat iron it, I don't really like the look of it, which is why I want to invest in some nice clip-ins when I do want to flat iron my hair, and, uh, I can just clip them in, and I'll have fuller, longer hair, and it will look awesome. But I do also want to invest in more wigs, more wigs that... I can, you know, keep my hair under and not worry about it and uh, wear it as a protective style so that I'm not messing around with my hair too much. Um, I might actually do some Senegalese twists, but I want to do them myself because it's so expensive to get them done and I'm not willing to pay $200 just to get some Senegalese twists installed when I can do it myself. I sort of kind of know how to do it. But I'm not that good at it, so I just got to get better, and I need to buy hair for it and just do it one day. Um, but um, I might do that sometime this winter, maybe. I'll think about it. But yeah, I just want to like start doing better protective styles besides just buns, because when I throw it in a bun, I end up not touching my hair for like a week. That's just not good for your hair, so I need to incorporate new protective styles, invest in wigs so that I can be cute while I'm protecting my hair and um, things like that. So, I mean, other than that, I just need to keep up with moisturizing my hair and I'll be fine. So I just wanted to update you guys in case you were wondering uh, <laughs> what's been going on with my hair because I haven't done many hair videos in a while. If you have any questions, make sure you 
comment down below and I'll answer them for you. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I have some great things coming up. I have a giveaway coming up because we hit 200 subscribers. Yay! I'm so happy. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all of the support um, and subscribing to my channel and um, liking my videos. Like, I really, really appreciate it. My last video, my uh, fall try on haul video, um, I received like a great response from that video. So I put, you know, quite a lot of work into it. So it, I'm just happy that you guys appreciate, you know, the work that I've been putting into these videos because I am trying to get better. So, <laughs> um, just thank you guys so much for the feedback and make sure you stay tuned for the giveaway so you gotta subscribe because you don't want to miss it it's gonna be good and um yeah just make sure you guys like this video if you liked it and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching